Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is... Ooh, I don't have a good name for this series yet. Let's build a dream house. There you go. That's probably a good name. If you guys hate it, let me know in the comment section below and I'll change it accordingly. But welcome back to Let's Build a Dream House. So, this week we're going to be building... Oh, uh, let me pull it up on my Google. It's Barbie's Dream Townhouse, I believe it's called. Or Barbie's Townhouse. It's a t it's Barbie's Dream House from 1970-something. Let me pull it up for you just so I'm not, like, making stuff up. Because I know it's from the 70s. Barbie's Dream Townhouse. It's three stories, and back then, I... I'm still super shocked to see how, I don't want to say cheap, because I, don't, I can't imagine, this is the, the first dream house where it's like thicker looking plastic. It still looks like it's going to fall apart and a lot of the pictures that I see are like super old. I mean, yeah, they're like super old and they're like kind of, the floor is caving in, it's really horrible. What does Google say? Okay. 1970s Barbie Dream Townhouse. Okay, but like, what year? We want to know what year, right? Or do you guys not care? And this isn't Barbie's first uh, townhouse either. And Barbie does get different townhouses later in life. So we're gonna have more townhouses to make in this series, which, you know what? I can't complain. I like this one. This one was very easy to create. Thank God. Because ooh, ooh, it, whatever this, having a simple build to make or to pump out like in an hour or so is just, oh, thank God. I'd much rather pump out a really quick build than spend hours making like a mansion, which I have done many times over. And then I like beat myself up and I'm like, don't, why'd you do this to yourself? You're so stupid. But yeah. Uh, sorry, now I'm just going through like Barbie photos. Um, this series, the Let's Build a Dream House series, 1973. Okay, this Barbie townhouse is from 1973. It is super old, like I said. The floors look like, in many of the pictures, look like they're kind of caving in. But I'll find a photo for the end of the video so I can show you guys. So you're, you can compare my version of it to the actual toy. And in this series, I don't think I'm going in order because... Barbie's lived in too many houses, if I'm being honest. It's like, is she trying to run away from her feelings or something? <laughs> but yeah, Barbie has lived in so many houses, townhouses, uh, beach houses, you name it, that this series is going to be full of houses. I'm going to have a good couple of months worth of houses for this series. And that's okay. Because it, I like to be educated on old Barbie toys. This series also... I don't... How do I put this? This series also, like... Make... I... When I build... Let me rephrase that. When I build, I... Walk on a line of whether or not I wanted to make it look exactly like the toy. Or if I want to make it livable for Sims. Because, like, you've seen me make a couple of other dollhouses, too. And those dollhouses, they ha they ha don't come with, like, kitchen. They don't come with the bathroom. So it's just basically, like, the bedroom where, you know, Barbie puts her clothes. Which is, back in the 60s, I guess the most important thing ever was just the clothes. But, you know, over time, Barbie's gotten a kitchen, a living room, <laughs> and more things. Like, this one has everything. But I also try to make it both workable for your sim and, but still resemble the toy. I like walk on a line and I'm trying to figure out that whole mess, no, that whole thing. I try to figure that out every single time I build one of these, which has only been like three, but still. 
that was like the worst intro ever. How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? Good. This is just bad. I know that this is a horrible voiceover already. All my voiceovers are like complete trash anyways, but hey, it's a fun, easy build. Hopefully I can brighten your guys' day if, hopefully, I really hope I do. If not, I'm so sorry that I didn't. Please let me know in the comment section below how horrible I am for not brightening your day. Or whatever. Do I have any fun stories for you guys today? Mm, no. But. Mm, no, mm, no. No. I got really drunk last night, so. Yeah. Um, I convinced my family to have a barbecue because my friend Heather was like, Oh, if you take Peeps, you can like toast them kind of like marshmallows because Peeps are marshmallows. And you can, like, toast them over a fire, and the outside will stay crunchy because it's sugar, and the inside will be, like, a, a nice, gooey marshmallow. And I'll, I tried it yesterday. Oh, God. So good. I ate a whole pack of peeps by myself, and I was like, oh, that's too much sugar. And so then I decided to stop because that was too much sugar. So then I decided to drink more alcohol instead because <laughs> that was smart. And then I had work at 10 o'clock the next day. Thank God I know how to take care of myself and, like, get myself ready for work. I, today, this morning, breakfast was just Gatorade. My mom's like, you don't want to eat? And I was like, no. So I just ate Gatorade. I mean, ate Gatorade. Just drank Gatorade. That was my breakfast. Just exclusively Gatorade. And it was a good breakfast. That's the breakfast of champions. Obviously. And here I made this uh, little shelf thingy by myself. Obviously, you're watching me do it. In the, in pictures of the dream house, they have a little like shelf unit like this with speakers. So I I wanted to create one myself, and that's how it turned out. I think it's actually really really good, it, and, it, and it serves a purpose. And that's all that actually really truly matters. I'm sorry I'm not being as like outgoing and happy and like coming up with stories to tell you guys because my life has been very boring. School sucks, still. Shocker. Math, oh my god, every single episode I put out, every single like speed build, I talk about how much I am bad, how much I suck at math, and how much I hate math. And I'm sorry about that. You guys are probably like over that already. You guys are probably like over me talking about how much I hate math. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a mess, and this is just a horrible voiceover. And I was like, this is such an easy voiceover. I'll get it done like that, and then I can go edit uh, Soap Opera Legacy, which you guys should watch it. It's getting juicy. There's some wonderful drama that's going on. Which, ooh, I need to create a... Yeah, I need to create something for that. I need to make a build for that. I have more... I have many builds I need to make for this for that series and other series is. So get ready because there will be more builds on the channel. And then get ready because after this week we're going back to Fixer Uppers. Fixer Upper is gonna come back onto my channel. It's gonna be great. I am excited. I don't know exactly what building I have planned for you guys yet. I'm gonna go into the gallery and find a fixer upper. I really hope this series is as much fun for you guys as, as it is for me. And I really hope this Dream House series becomes like a fan favorite. If not, it's okay. It's only it's only until I'm done with every single Barbie dream estate. <laughs> because she has so many, like I said earlier. Let's just talk about Barbie for a hot minute. I wish I was as rich as Barbie. Barbie has like her own airplane, yacht, er so sorry, I misspoke, I just realized. I said her own airplane. She has her own airplanes, she has her own yachts, she has multiple dream houses, which are all mansions. Don't we all wish we could have that? That'd be the life. And then what are you? Uh, because I think... When I, I know when Barbie first came out, like, onto the scene, quotation marks, she was branded as a teen model, so 
Did she age or is she still considered a teen model? Is she like a super successful teen model, astronaut, teacher? Um, I don't know. Politician? Is she like, a, as a teenager? She, no, because you have to be like pre 30 to be president. So she's like in her 30s, right? If Here I am like thinking about the age of a plastic doll. Hmm. I wonder. But yeah, she must have a lot on her plate. Is it worth the dream houses? Is like being stressed out all the time worth the dream houses? Oh, that's a good question. You guys let me know in the comment section below whether or not you think being as stressed as I believe Barbie is. I'm pretty sure Barbie's very stressed while she's, you know, too busy while she's busy, you know, being the president, being a teacher, being an astronaut, being a rocket scientist, being uh what else? An air pilot and a stewardess. She probably runs her own, like, airport, too. Oh my gosh. Security, police officer, firefighter, you name it. Oh yeah, she's probably stressed all the time. She probably has no days off of work. Oh gosh. And in the days that she does have off of work, she probably has to deal with her stupid sisters. Yeah. Mm, do you think that's worth all the dream houses and stuff? Let me know in the comment section below, because I'm... I don't know now. I have a feeling that I wouldn't want all the dream houses if that means I have to stress as much as she does. And I am pretty sure she stresses a lot. Mm. Yeah. Poor thing. But you know, she brought this on herself. She wanted this life. Or did she? Plot twist. Barbie never wanted this life. Interesting. Now, uh, now I'm like creating <laughs> conspiracy theories about Barbie and her life. Oh God, I'm a, I'm a hot mess. This whole episode has been a hot mess. This, I said episode. This whole video has been a hot mess. My voiceover has been a hot mess. This is just oh God. If you guys stayed to the very end, I applaud you because this has just been like word vomiting with Dilly Sims. I've just been like coming up with conspiracy theories and I've contemplated Barbie's like living situations and oh god. Why do I even have like subscribers? I'm the worst human I know. Oh god. Well, I keep like rambling and I'm getting close to the end of the video. I think I have like a couple of seconds to go. I'm just gonna make the outside beautiful. So I'm gonna leave this part off here. You can find this house in the gallery by searching Barbie's Dream Townhouse. Let me know what you think of the build, like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things, and I will catch all of you guys next time. Bye, everybody.